Lesson 10.3, Compare and Convert Customary Weight. We can compare and convert customary units of weight by using division or multiplication. We use division to convert the smaller unit to the larger unit. We use multiplication to convert the larger unit to the smaller unit. Then we use less than, greater than, or equal to symbols to compare the units. We will be comparing and converting weight in ounces, that is abbreviated as an OZ, pounds, that's abbreviated as an LB, and tons, that's abbreviated as a capital T. And customary units of weight, a strawberry is about one ounce, a pineapple is about one pound, and a car is about one ton. When we convert smaller units such as ounces to larger units such as pounds, the number will decrease. 32 ounces is only 2 pounds. See how we went down to a 2? It decreased. 32 divided by 16 is equal to 2 because there's 16 ounces in each pound. When we convert larger units such as tons to smaller units such as pounds, the number will increase. 2 tons is 4,000 pounds. 1 ton is 2,000 pounds, so 2 tons is 4,000 pounds. Our number increased up to a 4,000. Mrs. Kim has 3 pounds of flour. She needs 38 ounces of flour to bake a loaf of bread. Does Mrs. Kim have enough flour? Well, looking at our table, we can see that 1 pound is 16 ounces. And we can use a bar model to write an equation. 3 pounds, we would have 3 sixteens, so 3 times 16. That's equal to 48 ounces. We need to convert pounds, larger units, to ounces, smaller units, with multiplication. 38 ounces is less than 48 ounces, so yes, Mrs. Kim has enough flour. We can use the picture and mental math to complete each equation. One pound is equal to 16 ounces. Two pounds would be equal to two times 16. That would be 32 ounces. 10 pounds would be equal to, and we think of the pattern of zeros for multiplying by 10 or 100 as powers of 10. We learned about that in video 1.1, which is linked in the description if you've forgotten it or if you missed it. 16 times 10 would be a 16 with a zero at the end. It would be 160 ounces. So 100 pounds would be 100 times 16. We have the pattern of zeros. We have two zeros. We would have a 16 with two zeros. That would be 1,600 ounces. 12 pounds is how many ounces? We can think of 10 pounds. If one pound is 16 ounces, then 10 pounds would be 160 ounces. Two pounds would be two 16s. That would be 32 ounces. We add 160 and 32 together, and we get 192 ounces. Building contractors bought 648,000 pounds of bricks for a new building. How many tons of bricks did they buy? 2,000 pounds is equal to one ton, and we can convert 600,000 pounds to tons using mental math. And since pounds are smaller than tons, we need to divide to convert the units. We break 2,000 into two factors that are easy to divide mentally. 2,000 is equal to 1,000 times 2. We have our two factors. We divide 648,000 by the first factor, 1,000, then divide the quotient by the second factor, 2. We divide 648,000 by 1,000. Using the pattern of zeros, we can remove three zeros. We're dividing by a power of 10. We take the three zeros that are in the 1,000 and we take them off of the 648,000. That's 648. 
Now we need to divide by the second factor, 2, so we do 648 divided by 2. We can use long division to help us. 2 goes into 6 3 times. 2 times 3 is 6. We subtract and get a 0. It's the 4's turn to come down. 2 fits into 4 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4. We subtract the 4. We get 0. It's the 8's turn to come down. And 2 fits into 8 4 times. And 2 times 4 is 8. We subtract it, get a 0. And we find that they bought 324 tons of bricks. So we were able to divide this by breaking the 2,000, the pounds for a ton, into a 1,000 and a 2. We divided twice by the first factor 1,000 and then by the second factor 2. We used the pattern of zeros to just remove three zeros to do mental math. We need to try using mental math to complete each equation. 21 pounds is equal to how many ounces? And we can think 16 times a 20 plus 1. We can break this apart. Using the distributive property, we've got 16 times 20 plus 16 times 1. And 16 times 20 would be the same as 16 times 2 with a 0. That would be 320. 16 times 1 is 16. We add them together, and we get 300. 36 ounces. We could also think of it as 10 pounds would be equal to 160 ounces plus another 10 pounds as 160 ounces plus 1 pound as 16 ounces and add them together. And we would get 336 ounces. Here we need to change or convert 9 pounds into ounces and we can think 10 pounds is equal to 160 ounces. And we can take away 16 ounces as 1 pound from the 160. We do our subtraction, and we get 144 ounces. We could even quickly figure out 11 pounds. We would just do 10 pounds plus 1 more for 11 pounds. That would be 176 ounces, wouldn't it? So for mental math, we can use tens or one hundreds to help us calculate easily. We need to compare these units and write a less than, greater than, or equal to symbol in a circle. We think we can choose to convert either side, whichever one we find easier. We're comparing 100 ounces to 6 pounds. We can think 16 ounces in each pound. We do 16 times 6. That's 96 ounces. This side is equal to 96 ounces. We know that 100 ounces is greater than 96 ounces. Here we have 9 tons compared to 20,000 pounds. And we think 1 ton is 2,000 pounds. And 2,000 times 9 is 18,000 pounds. 9 tons is equal to 18,000 pounds, which is less than 20,000 pounds. Here we're comparing 23 pounds with 368 ounces. We know there's 16 ounces in each pound. We can do 23 times 16 ounces. And we get 368 ounces. So 23 pounds is equal to 368 ounces. We could have divided the 368 ounces by 16 ounces to find which one was less, greater, or if they were equal. Here we have 35,000 pounds compared to 16 tons. We know that 16 tons can be multiplied by 2 because 1 ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. We have 16 tons times 2,000 pounds in each ton. That's 32,000 pounds. So 35,000 pounds is greater than 16 tons. We could have divided 35,000 by 2,000 to compare them. But knowing that one ton is 2,000 pounds, to me, it's easier to just multiply by 2,000. 
Su Jin mixed 24 ounces of pecans with 12 ounces of dried fruit. Then she divided the nut and fruit mix into half pound bags. How many bags did she fill? And did she have any of the mixture left over? So we think one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So a half pound would be eight ounces. We add the ounces of pecans to the ounces of dried fruit. We get 36 ounces. And we can divide the total ounces, 36, by eight for the eight ounce bags. We find that she gets four bags. Eight times four is 32. And there's gonna be four ounces left over. Eight fits into 36 four times with four left over. So that would be four bags with four ounces left over. And 36 ounces is equal to two pounds, four ounces. She took, this is one pound and this is one pound and she made half pounds, so she'd have two four half pound bags with four ounces left over. So be very careful when you're converting. When we convert smaller units, like ounces, to a larger unit like pounds or tons, the number will decrease and we divide. And when we convert larger units like tons to smaller units like pounds, the number will increase. We use multiplication. Our next lesson, 10.4, we're going to do multi-step measurement problems. I hope you're having a really good day, and I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.